In today's episode, we are going inside an abandoned mansion that was built in 1965. The home has been through several owners throughout the years, but it was ultimately the bank that let this place fall into despair. But the craziest part of it all is that at some point in time, the mansion was used by a cult. The cult started their group in the 1970s, and eventually those owners of the home sold it and moved away. After a couple of other families had come and gone, that's when the bank took ownership and left it abandoned. Inside, there are still some things that resemble the cult. So join me today and let's see what's inside. What's up everyone, it is Big Banks. We're back again for another video. Today, we are exploring this abandoned mansion out here in the wilderness. This place is in the middle of nowhere. It's so awesome. We've kind of already went inside and took a look at it. Uh, we did get special permission to come here. Uh, the current owner is actually working on fixing the place up, but he let me come out and film it before he starts doing the renovations inside. This place uh, was left behind by the bank, actually. For the last few years, the bank has just forgotten about this place leaving all of the past owners stuff inside and it is just chock full of everything. Indoor pool, multiple living rooms, multiple bedrooms, lots of toys, the kids stuff. This place is a gym and we are lucky enough to come see it. I'm with Broken Down Buffalo today so you guys can check him out on Instagram. I will leave it down in the description. And again, big thank you to John for letting us come out here. There's a tree house, there's barns and it has its own pond. So I know it doesn't look like a mansion from right here, but the house actually slopes down and becomes a lot bigger on the other side. So we're gonna take a look at it today. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and let's get on with it. Recently, we just did a whole France series and now we're back in America doing some stuff in the States. And then we're gonna go back to Spain and France. But I really want to show you guys some more stuff in the US because it's, it's much less common to find places that are just full of stuff here than it is in Europe. This place is one of a kind. There's an indoor pool, there's many rooms, very unique rooms, a lot of stuff left behind. So I can't wait to take you guys inside and yeah, let's go. So as you can see, it's a very bright and sunny day out here. Weather's not too bad, it's a bit humid though, but we have this beautiful house and it actually goes down to the basement where there is the underground pool. There's many rooms all around here. There's a three car garage. There's more barns back there, a tree house, everything you can imagine. This place is very, very cool. Definitely feels like 1960s. I love the little blue accents on everything. And it's just out here in the middle of nowhere. Here we go, we're gonna go inside. So starting out right here, you see we have an American flag, it goes downstairs, this will go down to the pool. And actually it shows pool rules right here. No running, no shoving, no eating, no oils, no weaning, and no hairpins. It's kind of strange. <laughs> I totally forgot to mention that there's a library in this house fully intact, but this place is so cool. And the stuff left behind is pretty amazing. Like this is a very unique living room that we're walking into here with the stone flooring, fish tank, and this kind of really unique seating here. Like this fireplace is something I've never seen before. Tons of natural light coming in. So you got this chandelier here. So like all of this right here, like you see this, I don't really understand why this ledge is here. I don't know if like some sort of seating went on it or maybe this is where they put their TV or whatnot. The fireplace is very unique, something I've never really seen before. Almost looks like something out of like the Flintstones. Yeah, all the seating over here, a lot of stuff left behind, light fixtures. Maybe a TV went right here, I'm not too sure. This is just the living room, and you can definitely tell it's that 1965's vibe. The kitchen's right off to the side there. They're actually gonna be selling a lot of stuff out of this place, and uh, nothing really happened. They didn't really sell anything besides a few pieces of furniture. For the most part, everything's still left in here. 
Can't believe a bank would just like leave a property like this out here that could be worth a lot of money. Just to sit. It's on a big piece of land with its own pond and it's just amazing. So like why would you let it sit? But either way, a lot of cool like pieces of sculptures in here like this. It's like a piece of wood. Looks really nice, really cool. A lot of stuff like this all around the house. So let's keep on looking and let's see what else we can find. So yeah, all this seating here. I mean, it's still here. Pillows are, a few of them are gone. But then you have some cool little art pieces here. Not really sure where that's from. The lighting. But see, this is like some Flintstone type, type stuff. They had an old fish tank. All dried up now. There might even be fish still in there. There's your little pond. Nice place. I kind of just really love the statues that are in here all around the place. Look at this nice suit, guys. You guys think I could rock this? Probably not. <laughs> but some of this stuff, as you can see, this was for sale. A Whitco bar. It's very nicely detailed. I love the red in it, the woodwork. Beautiful piece of furniture. Look at this. Very nice. This is quite a big house. If you look out this window here, you can see your pond that you get. With another little area to chill right here. This place would be a perfect Airbnb. I want to give a big thank you to the guy that let us in here. This place is going to get renovated and it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to get the love it deserves. And now we're going to go into the kitchen. It stinks in here, for sure. All the food is coming out everywhere. You could tell this house was very nice. Food still in the pantry. Food on the floor everywhere. We have these ovens, these double ovens. And I think that these are pretty new for the most part. I'm scared to look inside of them. That's nasty. Ew. Everything stinks so bad in this room too. Wow. You got a big island here. Got more space. This is a quite quite a large kitchen here. The fridge there. I'm sure there's still food all in it. Oh my god. Yeah, it's full of food. Oh lord, that stinks. <coughs> Shouldn't have done that. Oh lord. Maybe this was where a washer and dryer had went at one point. One thing about this place too is there's multiple washer and dryer rooms. Let's continue to look around. See this place. But you can just tell. Look at all this. All that stuff left behind. That's very nice stuff too. It must have had a cat, some cat litter. And look at this. This is actually for sewing. Wow. And there's so many buttons here. There's little bits of leather. Amazing things in these. I can only imagine. And look, there's even more. Wow. So they must have liked to, to do knitting and things like that. And here is a washer and dryer. You can still see they even had dirty clothes left in here. Still in the hamper. No, no clothes in the washer, so I guess they didn't start a load yet. Oh yeah, look, everything's still left in here. I mean, we're gonna look through everything today. Look, this stuff is not that old. It smells very good when I open that. So mostly these drawers are just there. Cleaning supplies, laundry detergent, things like that, dish soap. But then we come into this room right here. And what we have here is a sunroom that overlooks the pond right there. The floor looks a bit um, dodgy, so we're gonna not walk on that floor right there. But we can still take a look around. They definitely had some animals. They definitely had fish, a few fish tanks. They had cat, some cat litter. There's even a little hole for their cat to go outside. 
There's another litter box. Another litter box and they're all full of litter. So they must have had multiple cats up in here. Things like that. But you get this beautiful outlook to your pond. What an amazing view. Very cool sun room. Skylights are in here. And maybe, just maybe, he'll let us come back out and we'll get to film it again whenever it's fully uh, refinished. And you can see it before and after of this beautiful place. They must have had a dog too, I'm seeing dog food. I think this was like a whole farm almost. Like they might have had chickens, they might have had other animals like that. Because I'm seeing a lot of uh, resemblance of that stuff. You guys tell me what you think of this place so far. Right here, they would have hung their clothes to dry. Must have had some birds, there's a few bird cages. There's even some animal skins right here, but I don't want to walk on this floor. It looks really dodgy. So here's a closet right off the front door. And one thing I noticed on the front door, look at this horse. Staying back on the door. <laughs> but right here we have a closet that still has suits hanging up, hats, scarves, jackets, boots, everything in here. Those boots actually look like my size. Holy crap, I can never find that in a bando. <laughs> Size 14s, that's crazy. You have this like lip right here. And me personally, I would love to put like LED lights, like glowing lights in here, that would make this so cool. Well, this is a very unique coat rack. So you hang your coats and your hats and stuff right here. It spins, that's so cool actually. It's really unique, I haven't seen anything like that before. And right here, what this is, is this is how you actually let people into the gate. So it has like an, an electric gate out front where you'd have to you know, press the call button. So this is actually what you would use to let the people in to buzz them in to open the gate, which is very, very cool. Very old timey, really not used to seeing stuff like that in places. But one of the coolest things in this house is right here in this room. What we have here is a complete library full of books still intact probably was an office for the guy too or one one that used to live here amazing place look at this and the bank just left this sitting here didn't try to sell it didn't try to salvage anything they just left it look at this we even have world's greatest husband and leading man wow but there are so many books and look they're even for sale too Pre-1960, $3 each. Post-1960, hardback, $1 each. And paperbacks are 50 cents. Check this out. Amazing natural light coming in this room, too. You would think the power is on, but it's not. Look at this. Not many times have you seen a full library in an abandoned house. Pretty crazy. Let's see what movies we got here. See if we know any. These are a bunch of little, little kids game, little kids movies. Dr. Seuss. Here's Cat in the Hat. Uh, the Lorax. I don't see any like movies that I know too well. A lot of really nice books in here. Look at this. That looks like a cool book. Would you like a library in your house? Personally, I think it'd be such a cool place to go chill. We got drawers here. I'm gonna try to look through. Maybe there's jewelry left behind. Who knows? On this desk, there's Wii Sports, Deca Sports. It feels like it's still in there. Oh, look at that. It's still in there. Heck yeah. I love Wii Sports. Wii Sports is the best. Like literally the best game is Wii Sports. These are all still in the case. Look at that. I never see that. Never see things in the case. Dangerous Hunts 2011. I actually used to play this game too. Another Wii. Wii Play. I used to play that. Jeopardy. This is a Windows game. Age of Empires. Just Dance. All these CDs. Guinness World Records, the video game. I didn't know that was even a thing. Yeah, this room is quite something else. And right off of the library, there's a bathroom. Several bathrooms in this house. It looks like a girl used this more because there's tampons. 
a lot of dirty tissues on the floor. Nasty. Really kind of small with the toilet sitting there. Like your knees would, hit, my knees would hit that really easily. But yeah, just this little small bathroom here. I just showed you a little bit of this side of the house. Now I will show you this side. This door right behind me goes to the master bedroom. And this is a little hallway that we have here with some beautiful pieces of art right here. Like this statue. We have some things that are just left behind knickknacks. I want to say that this is a some sort of laundry chute. I'm not too sure if you guys know. Let me know in the comments. We have some beautiful things in here, some beautiful stuff left behind. This has a face on it. Some beautiful antiques from all around the world. Stonework all throughout this hallway into the master bedroom. So I'm ready to take you guys in there. See, back over here, I'm noticing all this. There's some birthday stuff here, some birthday candles. Look at this. This is probably a thing of cards here. Oh yeah, look at that. Brand new cards, brand new dice. Probably gonna be going up for sale is what it was. Come on here, look at this. Looks like we got poker chip pack. We have a Trump sign in here. Must have had direct TV, it looks like. Let's see in the remotes. Let's take a look in the master bedroom now, which says, private, do not enter. Now check this out. This is cool, right here. Now guys, this, this is the master bedroom right here. So this is like a platform bed. The bed would have went right here. There's a balcony right here. All your bathroom stuff goes behind this. There's like a little dresser. Trophies everywhere, games everywhere. So the bed would have went here. This would have been a beautiful room right here. Got a nice ceiling fan, nice area. They even put the stars up here. It almost feels like a kid would have been in here because with these, these stars, maybe a teenager, I don't know. But this is definitely a master bedroom and there's a lot of cool stuff in here. We haven't even looked through the drawers yet, but this is just the first thing I see when I walk in. I just had to set the camera down. I had to show you guys this room. This room is so cool. Like, imagine if the bed was still here. Abandoned houses, like, like this. So crazy. How can, how can the bank just leave this? Not try to sell it. I mean, this place is probably worth a lot of money. Look at it. Whoa. So, here we have one of the closets of the master. Still some clothes left in here, not much though. Like I said, this would have had the master bed on it. Very cool. Not used to what we're seeing now, you know? Here's a hat. I'm like scared to lift stuff up. It's gonna be a big spider or something. Look at this. Best t-shirts. They're all labeled. T-shirts. Shorts. A lot of the clothes have been taken out, looks like. Oh, here's the drawer full of clothes. Bunch of socks. Never know what could be under them. But a lot of socks. Mismatched socks too at that. These drawers are all some, uh, some more shirts. And guys, I want you to know I have normally I don't look through drawers like this but I have full permission from the owner to look through things and check out what's here. Trophies here, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania disc golf tournament. So they're pretty good at doing disc golf. Looks like second place and third place. Multiple closets throughout this room. So it's just like one big closet. Oh. Ah, Spiderweb. You guys, there's spiders everywhere in this place. Check that out. Spider right there. A lot of stuff left behind, clothes. Vintage jackets here, love that. Oh, it's by Nike. That's so cool, it's a vintage jacket. Trying to be a little more uh, thorough with this, going through things, 
looking at what's left in here. Right now, this is the back side of the bed. As you can see, there's sinks here. So your bathroom is gonna be right here. There's just a lot more to see in this place than I expected. So, we have some cuffs here. After hours, never heard of that brand. Let's see, I think this opens up. Oh wow, look at that. Even got the razor slots in here. I wonder what this box is for right here though. Oh snap, this is the jewelry box. Look at this. That's sweet right there. A little cross pendant. It's got a drawer in there. Oh my god, kind of watches. What kind of watches do we have here? I don't know what RAM this is. So if you can see the RAM in it, look at this. Here's a pendant with a RAM on it. So it's something to do with, with that. Everyone, now that now that we've checked out this master bedroom here, let's continue to walk through the place. I'm still kind of behind this uh, this area, uh, and I see more cabinet space. This was some more like this has some medicine in it, Tylenol, Dayquil, things like that. I didn't show you right here is the shower. It's really kind of small. You have to walk into this room, going diagonally to the shower right here. This is actually a nice size shower, but the toilet is on the other side of that door. But now we're gonna get out of this room and we're about to walk into one of the best rooms in this house. This is the kids' room. It's really sad to see all of this stuff in here, all these kids' toys, everything. You see her bed is still there. It's a large bed. It's actually a king size bed. Imagine you are a little girl sleeping on a king size bed. That's wild. There's doll houses in here. Like, check this out. There's little doll houses that come apart. You can put furniture in that. There's model rockets. There's toys everywhere. Christmas lights. Here's even like a little sink to get ready. Here is some more space. Definitely don't want to know what's all up there, boxes and stuff. But you can tell she loved her toys. Look at these rockets. There's a pink rocket right here. Nice little rocket there. Lots of very nice toys. You can tell she loved this room. She loved being in here. Look at that skylight. It's also even clouds. The amount of stuffed animals lined up here, they're all gonna be for sale too. The large one's $5. All these toys in here, everywhere. There's even a lot of kids' books down there. More toys, puzzles, all things like that. So this room is so nice of a room for a little girl. Look at that, she even did her own arts and crafts. Got a bigger dollhouse here. I've seen dollhouses in places before and I actually love finding that stuff, it's really cool. But it's also sad at the same time, like I said, really sad stuff when you find little kids' rooms left in despair like this. And some of this stuff I used to play with myself. Like, I'm noticing, I used to play with these right here, this little ball. It like retracts. So this actually retracts and it comes down, whatever. <laughs> it's like an RC boat, so they probably use this out there on the, on the pond. Pink dollhouse. Not really much furniture in it. It's a little chair, a little chair there. This was gonna be $35. Got these gorillas. <laughs> There's a green one and a pink one. And I noticed that there was art in here too. And you guys know, I love art. And this right here is very different, let me tell you. There's a fish, a uh, weights, American flag. I wanna say that's a German flag. No fear reels. <laughs> But yeah, little kid's room here. And all of the clothes are still hanging up in the closet. A lot of these don't look like little kid's clothes though. Some of these look like teenagers. So this hallway leads down all the way to the garage that way. We have paintings hanging up here. This is beautiful. It looks like something in France. 
I can't tell though, it might be Italy. But I see castles and stuff, it looks like France. Another painting here. These are like really nice in frames. Goes down further, we'll check out the rest too, but let's go in this room now. This room, I'm not sure, it might have been probably just a bedroom, but there's a skylight in here, so that's pretty. Might have been like a small bed in this room. Got a lot of stuff on the desk here, on the table. Got some board games, some model trains, a lot of cards. There's, there's a lot of playing cards in this house. That's what I've noticed. I've seen quite a few. A lot of boxes, like jewelry boxes and whatnot. But we are here looking through everything today. We're gonna see what all is left in this place. But then there's, there's a closet here, which is full of VHS tapes, books, clothing, cassette tapes down here. Pretty nice size closet too, come out. Got these glass doors all around to go outside. We have drawers right here, little cabinet with some beautiful artwork in here. Come to our next room. Was definitely, was definitely another bedroom. Got a lot of magazines and whatnot laying in here. TV in the closet. That's a pretty big computer monitor too. That's as big as that TV. Got the bed in here. A lot of jugs and water. They're all empty though. And just bags of clothes. So yeah, just a little small bedroom this one is. Not much to it. Let's continue on. So right here. This looks more like a master bathroom to me, straight up. Quite large. The bidet is sitting on top of the tub. The tub can fit probably four people in there. It's a jetted tub, really nice, big size. Got the toilet over there. Got even a chandelier hanging up in this, this bathroom. watch here pretty nice big size bathroom I'm gonna say I like it got some drawers here just your basic you know stuff that you would have in a bathroom stuff to do your hair stuff to clean the place Some more like lotions. SpongeBob bathtub stuff. They definitely had kids over looked here at one point. But see how they say private, do not enter? Maybe that was because of the sale that they were gonna have. Yo, check this out. Is this for the this is for the tub, I think. Set time, start, stop. That's cool. So here's another door where you can enter inside the house. There's multiple ways you can enter inside the house. The main door's over there, but you have this door as well. And this could be a master bedroom right here, which I'm assuming this probably is the master bedroom, how large it is. Um, they might have stayed in here. I don't see a bed, but it makes sense with that bathroom being there how nice that bathroom is compared to the other ones. So many cool things in here. There's corks all around. They used to drink a lot of wine, let me tell you. A lot of wine is in here, classy people. Some uh, some records here, these records from. We got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Freddie Jackson, Freddie Jackson. A lot of cool records in here too. Looks like they had a projector, I think. So yeah, this might have been the master bedroom. It's quite large. So maybe their bed went over on that side. Or maybe the bed was supposed to be here. Or maybe this was just their office. That's what it's really looking like. That it was an office at the last, last time that it was lived in. A lot of stuff here, encyclopedias. Dot, huge books right there. I don't, actually, I'm wrong. That's not an encyclopedia. It's just a huge book. I'm not really sure what it is. Look at these. Binoculars. Here's like a game of uh, poker or chess or something right there. Holy crap, look at this. Whoa. Just found this bow. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. I wonder if there's any arrows in here. A lot of VHS tapes. 
Again, more cards. So they love playing cards. Notice cards like everywhere. There's just so much to look through at this place. Like you can only imagine what's in these drawers. Cause there's just so much stuff piled up in here. Could be things hidden or whatnot. But this definitely could have been a master bedroom at one point because the big bathroom is right there. And right around this corner, there is something very special. We also have some cool things to see outside too. So I will take you outside again and show you a little more. There's some wasp in here. Show you a little more stuff out there. There's a tree house. There's just so much here, so much. It's hard to explain. It's like really overwhelming. So let's just continue to look through here, see what's in this room. And then we'll just continue on throughout the house. We need to go downstairs and see the huge uh, indoor pool and everything like that. So. Let's continue to explore. I see more cards. There's like chips in here. Yeah, chips. Dice. But we have this beautiful fireplace. Look at this. Stone fireplace. Huge. Very nice. Very classy looking. But you come back here and here is your bar. Check that out. You have an entire bar here. There's like stuff laying around. There's a lot of stuff here still this bar is so cool with the red cushioning right there all the glasses there's even trophies there's a tv here you tell the tv's a bit older of a tv but hey you have a bar come on you got a toaster you have this artwork right here very nice artwork i love art you guys know I keep saying it over and over again look here's even beer on draft in your house <laughs> that's very cool so guys like i said i assume this would be a master bedroom normally but right now it's it was an office and you can tell that easily by what's in here the desk filing cabinets all that stuff i'm entering this room which i'm wondering what this is it looks a little bit strange oh this is like a oh it's like a workshop this is a workshop yeah there's glasses in here tools beer bottles can drain stuff right here. oh my gosh there's the cat oh man that's rough but all the tools are here power drills hammers nails all that stuff chainsaws So we just checked out everything upstairs besides the garage. We will go to the garage in a little bit, but now we're going to go downstairs and check out the indoor pool, the game room, all that good stuff. But we checked out all of upstairs. Now let me know down in the comments what your favorite room upstairs is. But right now we're going to go downstairs and we're going to see if you change your mind because this place is about to be really cool. This indoor pool, I've seen it just once so far. We did the first little walkthrough and now I'm ready to show you guys what it looks like. The staircase it is pretty sturdy. It might not look like it, but it is pretty sturdy for the most part. We got more rooms down that way. So the indoor pool is right here where Will is. So wait just a second to see that. Come down here, there's a lot of black mold in the basement, so gonna be a little careful. Gotta cover my nose a little bit. Here's a bathroom. And this room right here, this is like a little dungeon. Feels like, I think this is wine or moonshine. There's a lot of bottles of it everywhere up here. Spam. Whoa. Yo, look at that. That is an old Mac computer. More alcohol, more alcohol. I'm not gonna touch anything else in here. There's even some metals or something. 
Man, it looks like for gymnastics. Imagine having this downstairs is like your bedroom. Because right here next to me is a bedroom down here. The floor is a bit and the drawers are like stuck. So the floor is a bit soft. Some vintage shirts, it says Spalding on it. A little desk area, I would love to have this. My gosh, like a desk area like this in your bedroom, that'd be so amazing. But maybe this wasn't, or maybe it was, I don't know. But you could probably put two beds here, two small beds. But then we come into the weight room. So this is where you're getting your pump in, where you're lifting your weights. You got a full set right here. You can do legs, you can do bench. You got the easy curl bar, cassettes, jam the music while you're in here. This is a dungeon right here, let me tell you. <laughs> that looks scary. Now this room is like one of the most decaying rooms in the whole house. Photos. Since I'm showing you this whole house, we're gonna go ahead and take a look in this dungeon looking room. Stored some stuff in here. Whoa, it keeps going. Kind of ends right here. So they must have just had this for storage for the most part. Not really much in here. The ceilings are really low, so I'm gonna get out of here. And right through here, had a little game room. So we got the ping pong table and we have new ping pong balls as well as paddles. So if we wanted to, we could play a game. This place is just pretty unique, man, to be honest. It really does give off the 1965 vibes, you know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> 65, 70s, you know? This is like the uh, boiler room. Have all the uh, components or everything to run the house. Looks pretty crazy in here. You got a fridge right here. We're gonna open this one just to see. Ah, nothing in here. A couple things, but nothing like crazy, like the other fridge. Some more shot glasses, other glasses and things like that. Pans, pots and pans down there, more cat litter. Right out here, there's like a little porch area. So you could probably do some grilling out here. Get a nice view of your little pond. You got these nice stone fixtures here. Still got a lot to see. This place is huge. But I still gotta show you guys the pool. One of the coolest parts of this whole house is this freaking pool here. It's actually quite deep. Hold up. We're gonna test how deep this is right now. I'm six foot seven. So just the first part you walk into is right here. So this pool is not made for little kids because <laughs> this is probably like four feet right here. And then it just goes probably to like, it's probably like 10, no, it's probably like eight feet. Gotta take really big steps to get out of here. Oh yeah, I just saw the fountain too. Oh, look at this dude, the ram. With the A. What? But yeah, I mean the pool is pretty sick. It's huge. Seashells, there's a fountain that would have gone into the pool. A phone in here. A lot of black mold in that corner over there though. But of course, you got a sauna. Cause why not? Quite large sauna too. We're basically in the sauna right now cause it's so freaking hot yeah. and humid. <laughs> but yeah, this is the pool and we're thinking it's about nine foot pool. The big windows, see outside. Imagine if all that was cut, you could see like the, the pond. This would be an amazing place, man. All right guys, so we just saw the in-ground pool in the basement. <laughs> really cool place. Now we're gonna check out the garage and we're gonna check out the tree house and the barns that are out here and get a total look at this place again. This place is absolutely amazing. The garage is chock full of stuff. It's a three car garage and we're about to see what's left in here. So as you can tell, there are things stored in here, pans, pots, different lights, a whole set of golf clubs with the bag and everything. 
I don't know anything about golf or if they're good or not. They might be. Tennis rackets. Oh my gosh, another Mac computer? Look at this. Holy. <laughs> Looks like they did a lot of like little sports and things. There's a hockey stick right there. Basketball. Some rollerblades. I mean, there's everything in here. There's even baseball bats. There's more golf clubs. You see a bunch of stuff held up here through here. So what he's going to do is he's going to clear all this out and try to salvage what's good and kind of throw away what is bad. Look at this. There's even croquet. <laughs> let's head on to the back side of the house and let's see the uh, tree house that was built in this place and the other barns because there's more barns, more stuff in it like workshops, things like that. There's just so much to this place. All right, everyone. As you can see, as we're walking up to the back side of the house now, there is a tree house up here. So we'll try to take a look at it. The grass is really tall, and he said to watch out for bear traps. I wouldn't think that he would put bear traps in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> Especially where the tree house is, but look at that. I don't think I've ever seen a tree house at a place before. You wanna to try to go up? Shit. <laughs> No, it's not. I think it's on this side. You gotta like crawl up and in. Crawl up and in? Pretty sturdy? No. <laughs> Careful. It's not for like bees or anything up there. Raccoons. What do you see? Uh, there's a little table, a couple of pads. Legit little tree house, huh? Yeah. I might go out the little door. There's some pictures hanging in here too. Some stuff here. A little mirror. Oh my. Oh, this is, oh I see it, yeah. Oh, dude, don't step on it. <laughs> it's, it's definitely flexing. <laughs> yeah, that's the tree house right there. Shout out to Will for going up there. Huh? Like screwing these into it like this, like a tree house, is the trees aren't dead, so the trees are gonna like keep growing around the around the wood, so it's yeah. like a permanent uh yeah. it's like a permanent these ladder. Are pretty sturdy. This one on the front wasn't good. Well it, the one the one on the bottom is like just nailed into it. <laughs> pretty cool man. The back porch which has some fishing rods. This nice little oven here. Could be a fire pizza, fire brick oven type thing. Load it in the bottom, grill it on the top. Yeah. A lot of furniture out here, a lot of outdoor furniture. Man, what a cool spot. Cool little area back here. It's a hot, it's so hot right now. <laughs> the sun's making it so much worse. <laughs> All right, time to walk over to the barns and check that out before we actually head out of this place. So we're entering the first barn and it smells like a workshop in here. Got the tools, even got a pretty little lady up there and on the other side too. <laughs> yeah, this is just your basic workshop. Tools, chemicals, things like that. But look at this. Look at all the bottles of wine. Dude, Holy these are all crap. bottles of wine. Are they still full? I hope so. No, that's empty. Uh, we're about to have fun the rest of the day. <laughs> empty. Dang, they might all be empty. Yeah, just more of the same. These are kind of more falling apart. But, guys, that's it. That's the mansion. I, uh... I am very shocked at this place. <laughs> a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Shout out to John for letting us come here to, again. I can't wait to see what he does to the place. It's actually, I think it's going to be really amazing. But that's going to be it today. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button if you're new. Guys, I post every single Saturday. Haven't missed a day. So guys, tune in every Saturday to see a new epic adventure that we go on. And this one was really cool, to say the least. If you liked it, Please hit the like button, subscribe, check out my friend Will over there, and yeah, 
Hopefully one day we'll get to come back here when it's free done and see the before and afters. That would be absolutely amazing. But for now, we're gonna get out of here, head to the next spot. So we'll see you next time. Big Banks out.